Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly here. Flavor five five seven. Shell Retinax A Grease. Five hundred grams net. The Shell Company of Australia Limited. Registered user of Shell and other trademarks. Okay. Retinax A Grease. There's a Shell company with Shell logo. Of course, Shell had petrol stations, garages, um, service stations back in the 80s when I was growing up. It was Shell service stations. They might still be around, but probably around here and there. I do not really know for sure. We had Golden Fleece and BP and Shell and Castrol and I think it was Castrol or some, something. Um, what is it? So, something like uh, Caltex it was. Cal Caltex. And uh, there was Shell as well, and they could still be around. I don't really know. I mostly just see the stuff in Canberra these days. But uh, Shell is obviously a motor industry company, uh, automobile sort of motor industry company and sort of technology company, well, motor technology sort of company. And this is Retinux A Grease. So this is obviously Grease, which is an oily substance. I'll open it up. There you can see the grease there. And grease is used in engines to, uh, on pistons, I think, and things like that, so that it, it stops heat building up on the steel as it, as they, as it rotating and moves and things like that, as they go up and down and things like that. It keeps it running smoothly. It's sort of, um, it stops it uh, rubbing against each other and building heat from the rubbing. It sort of keeps it smooth, the running. You put grease on, like, bicycle cogs and things like that, bicycle chains, and um, in moving parts in engines, you, you, you put grease on the moving parts where they connect, and it makes it run smoothly. It's a sort of syrupy, liquidy substance which makes it run smoothly. I think people would know that anyway. But, um, and, of course, you can, you can actually get hair grease where you're putting your hair. And back in the 1950s and stuff, they used to call them greasers who sort of greased up the hair to keep it looking cool and stuff. So greases and variety of products. Theoretically, I suppose, you could probably almost use that in hair if you really wanted to. It, it might be able to. I, mean, I don't know how toxic this stuff is. This is quite an old tin. Uh, if you ate a, a teaspoon of this you'd probably actually be fine in reality. I don't think there's anything terribly problematic with it, but it's not a food for consumption. But um, not particularly pongy. This is an oldest tin. This has been out in, the, in dad, my dad's garage carport. Oh, he's probably had this since the 80s or 70s or something, even longer. I, I don't really know for sure, but it's been out there for years now, and I've just got it out and doing some videos of this sort of stuff. But this is oil grease or injured car engines usually, and probably bikes and things like that. And it's a useful enough tradey sort of tool and mechanics sort of, uh, not tool, tradey sort of um, item and mechanics sort of item, which is used regularly uh, worldwide. It's Grease is very, very popular stuff. And it's pretty much essential for cars and things like that, to, uh, and trains and automobiles and moving things, and the moving parts to keep them running smoothly and stuff like that. So it's, it's fundamental stuff. Now, this is the Rednex A grease brand. I don't know if Rednex A is still functioning these days. Uh, they might be still using but that stuff will grease just, just lasts. So that stuff is still going to work just fine. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Shell Rednex A grease blather 557. Five, Jeez.